Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So this time I'm going to show you how to make the whole world nav navigable. That means uh, this is my nav mesh volume. If I press P you can see the navigation generated area but compared to the whole world this is just a tiny portion of this world and I can make this nav mesh volume a larger that will cover the whole world but then it will involve a lot of calculations that is a uh, I don't think I can afford to do that in uh, limited resources of a PC. So therefore, I'm going to show you a way to make the whole world navigable without making uh, this uh, unbearable calculations. So yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. First, I will go to my project settings like this and here under navigation it should be on here so here we have this option generate generate navigation only around navigation invoker so i'll enable it so then what this does is whenever I have a navigation invoker component in my characters uh, they will generate nav mesh uh, they will do the calculation and generate nav mesh areas only around that character so yeah so first I'll now if I I'll delete this now mesh no I don't have to delete it so this is my now mesh and for now even if I press P it does not have any it does not show any green areas which is calculated by for navigation so that's because I do not have any nav mesh invokers added to these characters. So first I'll make this cube or nav mesh cover the whole world by making it larger. Okay, I can see it easily if I go to this view. Right. And I'll make it larger like this I'll make the width 1000 okay and Y scale also 1000 right now I'll make it overlap the word like this okay I think it fairly covers the area but I to be safe I'll make it a little larger than our world right and also I have to make sure that it covers the weight where does it show only half of the size of this world Uh, right it's not large enough I think I have to make it like let's try five okay and here also I put four right seems 4 is not enough so I'll 5100 okay that's good enough 
and I'll go to the side view so you can see this only this down lower areas are covered so I'll increase the height of that as well I'll put 500 and move it okay so now the nav mesh covers uh, all the world and yeah so now what I have to do is so where's our characters ah, yeah yeah okay so now what I have to do is I have to add a nav mesh component a navigation invoker component into my character blueprint so here well actually I could add the navigation invoker like this but the our player character also inherited from that same ch human class so but uh, the player character don't need a navigation invoker so therefore i'll create another child blueprint from the ch human and i'll call it ch npc right and here under the pawn under this pawn section I'll remove this AI controller and because I'm going to add it only to this uh, NPC character so here I'll add this AI human to this one okay so yeah now i'll add a navigation invoker to this one and okay i'll leave the default settings as they are and so these guys don't have a navigation invoker or a ai component enabled so i'll use this one instead okay so now as you can see when I put that character in the world it uh, it generated the nav mesh around that and so I'll add some faraway place another character as well actually I haven't put any trees in this area okay but it doesn't matter right so as you can see now here and there also both of those places are navigable because I have made the whole world navigable right now let's play this so that and I'll go to debug camera to see whether the other characters are moving around where are you see oh yeah he's there okay so yeah he can move around so that means this whole world is navigable and let's check the other character as well I hope I can I would be able to find him oh, well, here right so this guy can also walk around right so that's how we make the whole world navigable okay so right so that's all for this video and see you in the next video goodbye